Okay, here is a quick uh, demonstration of how to tile this fabric using Textura's tiling tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on um, the crop button. And, and with this, uh, I'm going to come in quite a bit, um, roughly from about there to there. You'll see that this part of the pattern is repeating from here to here. And um, that's about roughly where we want to be. Well, I mean, this whoever scanned this, it's really crooked. So what we'll need to do is, is kind of straighten, straighten this out. Now, fabrics being fabrics, right, um, they, they sometimes are skewed. So in this case, um, we're going to very carefully go in and, and align all of this. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and come right in to the corner of this yarn here. And since this is a plaid and a straight repeat, uh, you'll notice here that I am I'm just above this, right? So down here in this corner, it's going to want to be just below it. And if I press the control button on my computer, I can come right in like this. Now I want to go to the same spot over here. Now notice here I'm just a little past. So now I'll do the same thing coming up just a little before and likewise up here at the top. Now because the fabric waves around a bit, um, this still isn't, isn't exact. Um, so one of the tricks that we have here is once, once we have the rough size of the repeat, uh, I can go in, and I might have to do a little more adjustment, but I can move this to where it's going to be a little less obvious where I grab that from, right? So, but now I know that I have the right scale because I saw from this square to this square to this one to this one, right? And, you know, I can play with, is it just a matter of adjusting this way a little bit? Um, or uh, I can also go back in again and kind of fine fine tune this a bit. So I can use the skew and see if I can bring this in just a little to get it to match. And then here, it, you can also, by the way, be sure you know if you need to know where your repeats are here. But I'm making really small moves here to bring this together and then let's get a better color for maybe that'll stand out um, I really want to look at this and see how well am I getting the yarn patterning here now you can't necessarily get this 100% perfect but from here I could bring it in just a tiny bit and often you know what what improves one part isn't perfect for another so we're looking to get it good enough and we want to do the same just kind of look at all of the areas where the grid is and let's see if bringing this in ever so slightly there or do I need to go out a little um, just tiny tiny adjustments to get the yarn pattern to line up Put the grid back on keep looking uh, that's looking pretty good there. This will still need some clone tools to clean it up. Um, but it's starting to look, you know, pretty good. So now I'm going to zoom out. And uh, that, that looks pretty good. So I will go ahead and, and say to apply changes. Uh, if you want to see what I do next, uh, next we're going to try to get rid of this wrinkle here. But let's go ahead and accept that we've got a pretty good tiled uh, version of this fabric to start. So apply that. And uh, that's it. That would be, uh, once we get the gradient cleaned up, this could start looking great.